I'm sorry for what I'm about to say, and I hope that you all can forgive me for living a lie as big as this for the past 16 years. I need to come clean about something. I need to get it off of my chest. It's been chewing at my heartstrings for a while now, and I think that my small fewer base of homosexuals needs to know that I am no longer a part of the statistically inaccurate 41%, and I am actually a part of the roughly 0.5 to 2.5% of trans people who detransition. I know this may come as a shock to you all, but yes, the liberals forced me to become a woman. I am that no longer, and to help me with my detransition, I shall look at videos on YouTube telling me how to be a real man like I should have done back when I first received 5G rays in my brain from President Obama telling me that I wanted to be a girl. <laughs> Self-help content is an idea that's been around for hundreds of years, with the first notable example being a book aptly titled Self-Help, written by Samuel Smiles that was published in 1859. Roughly half a decade later, in 1902, Sams Allen published As a Man Thinketh. Both of these provided basic ideas on how to think better. After all, what goes on in that little old noggin of yours can have a massive impact on your well-being. In the 80s and around that decade, even up to the 2000s, we had workout VHS tapes. See, back then it was hip and trendy to eat healthy and work out. A lot of famous or wealthy people had these goofy workout tapes, from OJ Simpson and Mark Wahlberg to George Foreman and Mary Tyler Moore. The idea that you could learn how to take better care of your body, lose weight, and become more active by following the movements of a 65-year-old Estelle Getty was mind-blowing. And all you needed to do was buy a VHS tape and listen to her make weird advances on a man with a really thick accent. Your inspiration is tough. Oh, please, I could look inside one of your thighs. In 1991, the first Four Dummies book was published, unless you include this weird outlier published in 1976. The idea behind this series was that you could learn the basics of literally anything by reading. The topics of these books range from teaching you a new language, how to care for a new pet, sex, programming and board or card games. Speaking of games, they even had a DS game, travel games for dummies. It was just a hundredth way to repackage solitaire Sudoku and crossword puzzles on the DS, but it is in fact a game you can travel with. The total amount of these is insane, a whopping 339. Also, I couldn't really find a way to fit this in, but how long until someone Tumblr sexamanifies this mascot? I see potential. There are so many examples of self-help content. Realistically, most anything could be considered self-help with this definition. The instructions on a frozen meal. A Klonoa door to phantom Isle strategy guide in Japanese. I can't read. The text on a Pokemon card telling you how to use it. I still can't read. While these are definitely stretches of the idea of self-help, there's one that I'm specifically after, being the kind that will help me become the cishet man that I truly am. I don't need to learn how to be a better person. I don't need social skills or compassion. I need to disregard women and acquire large sums of money while questioning why I can't find a trad wife who isn't a hot trans girl on Twitter with a puppy girl kink. Yes! Hi, my name is Melody and Surname, and today I want to take a dive into the expansive world of alpha males who advertise themselves as the future of men. You know, for being the future, you'd think they'd have a stable relationship to procreate with, but maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully these big, strong, and not entitled adult men can help me release the past three years of estrogen by showing me what it's like to be a man. This guy is Aaron Marino, though you may know him better as the guy who hates yogurt males. I personally know him from being on the TV in my workplace's break room in an ad for Keeps. I wish I could get sponsored by them, but I'm not balding yet, so I doubt that'll ever happen. Looking at his channel tells me a lot about him, though I think the most important thing about this overview is that he uses scantily clad women in thumbnails, and I am 100% positive that if I were to show any of these, I would be exiled from this platform and sent into the shadow realm on the spot. So instead of almost naked women, I'll replace them with pictures of big boobs. You're welcome. The About Me says he founded the Alpha M brand in 2006 at the age of 29. Now he's the ripe age of 46 making videos to, quote, offer a positive and uplifting voice in the sea of negativity. Uh, 1.2 billion views? How the- Oh wow! 6.69 million subscribers. That's almost as many as I have. That means that I'm not alone in my detransition. Surely the other subscribers are here for the exact same reason. I, I mean, why else would anyone watch videos promoting masculinity and dating advice? I see no other reason for why an individual would need these kinds of things aside from my own very specific personal reason. His videos are all about dressing well and taking care of your appearance, getting a massive cock like it's a pub ad. That that's a hot dog, that's a banana, that's a pickle, that's a small pickle. These thumbnails are an art. Don't say hug, don't say hey. 
just grab them. Do not ignore your piss in the shower. I love the usage of this image a lot. It's borderline a woe jacket. In fact, Ta-da! The usage of the word it for the PP word is really funny and it takes me back to the, all those clickbait YouTubers who make content for kids where they like call it a brick. Anyways, that's enough of the thumbnails. Let's actually get into one of his videos. Gosh, I'm so ready to become a man by watching things that alpha males do that beta males don't. Rules that alpha males follow that beta things males alpha don't. Males never signs that you're an alpha, alpha male. Things things alpha alpha males like rules alpha males board. never break. Six Seven alpha male body ways to make extra, extra money, money from home. Rules that alpha males break. <laughs> That one's just creepy. His videos are honestly not at all what I was expecting. I thought it'd be a bunch of shaming and anger towards people who are just here for some advice on how to talk to women or feel better about themselves. You look at these thumbnails and you think he's just gonna be some rude ass guy who's trying to call you a useless fat slob or, or maybe he's racist or has some hate towards other minorities. But in all honesty, it seems like he's just a cool guy out here to share some pretty obvious and self-explanatory tips for being cool. Sure, the advice tends to to be a little lacking in self-awareness, a bit empty and repetitive as hell, but there's positivity here. Perhaps I missed the videos where he says vile shit. The first one I watched was the origin of the yogurt male image. He stumbles at a lot of things, and at first I thought he was against the idea of sigmas as a whole. Wait, for those of you not in the Patrick Bateman scope of the world, a sigma male is a guy who no, allow me to have Aaron explain it for you. The Sigma male tends to be a loner. Number two, they're flexible. Number three, they are themselves. They have an ambiguous morality, which I have no idea what that even means. Using basic Googling for the script, I can deduce that these words mean open to more than one interpretation and or having a double meaning and the extent to which an action is right or wrong. Putting them together accumulates in Shadow the Hedgehog on PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. After being confused by a bunch of other things that are clearly in the realm of bullet points that Homelander from the boys would get. He then lists off generic traits that are kind of less of being an alpha male and more of just being a good person. Number four is compassion. You need to be compassionate for others. Well, only an alpha male would be compassionate towards others regardless of their skin or appearance. Man, I must be an alpha already. Pride. Pride in who you are as a man, as a person, but pride in everything that you do. I gotta have pride? Uh, of course I have a small child in the shadows. Only good people have him in the corner of the room as some sort of a sleep paralysis demon. God, uh, for real though, I just finished Full Metal Alchemist a few weeks ago and I gotta say Pride freaked me the fuck out, man. Such a good character. Your clothes need to be good. Your accessories need to be straight. See what happened there? Exactly. I threw these bad boys on. You're like, yo, Alpha. Maybe that's what they were talking about in terms of a Sigma can become an Alpha if he rocks enemy shades. Gentlemen. Oh, this was just a whole section for enemy shades. Uh, no thank you. The one that matters the most, though, was the second video I watched. The one I saw almost immediately, believing his thoughts on if trans men can be alpha males. I went into this, as I said, expecting some awful stuff, but he basically says trans rights. You know, people freak out when they don't agree with something that you have to say. The whole transgender thing, I don't understand it. I also don't understand why people get so mad or upset about things that don't directly impact them or affect them. To me, it doesn't matter if you're gay, doesn't it doesn't matter if you're straight, it doesn't matter if you're black, you're white, you're Hispanic, it doesn't matter if you identify as a man, a woman, a chicken, it doesn't affect me. It's how you choose to live your life. This means that he clearly accepts me into the alpha male crowd being an ex-trans person myself. I, I might just buy myself a pair of enemy shades. Where where's the shades? I, I wanted to look cool and, and, and Sigma as fuck with my enemy shades using promo code SIGMA10 for 10% off. <laughs> what in the world is happening? All this hair care stuff from an Italian man in his 40s? My god, he's a Wojak again. He was on Shark Tank? First up is an entrepreneur from season 4, returning to the tank with a new opportunity for the sharks. Returning? He was here before. My man is an entrepreneur. God damn. Let's rewind a bit. His first pitch in the tank was for a life plan. It reminds me of how a lot of people who promote alpha stuff tend to have some exclusive club where you pay them a buttload of cash so you can be told the exact same things you would have learned on their YouTube channels. You get the slob guy. Mm -hmm. He finds out about Alpha M. He buys this for how much? $297. Ooh. 
I guess he tried it, and for $300, no one bit in or out of the Shark Tank. As I would have expected without watching it, he didn't get a deal and came back three seasons later with the new hair care stuff. Honestly, the guy is a great salesman, but seeing the funny, bald, billionaire, wine-loving white guy get mad at him is kind of funny. Hair care stuff is not a product for stinky, bald men. The fact that this guy, at least from what I can see, turned out to be pretty neat, shocked me. Maybe I shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Maybe these alpha males are actually going to be accepting of me in my detransition to being a real man. I am so grateful for you, Aaron Moreno. I must say that after watching a fair bit of your channel, I've learned a lot about life, style, grooming, fit <laughs> Grooming? He's transgender? No, this is what I'm trying to avoid. I, I, I knew it was too good to be true. I, I gotta get out of here and find a real alpha male who hates minorities. Phew. Now that I'm safe and sound, I can look at a real man, someone like this guy. He sure seems like he'll be able to empower me and help me feel like I'm a man. After all, nothing screams wealth like an overabundance of poor monetary decisions. Though, for the sake of my own personal YouTube recommendations and algorithmic safety outside of the satirical bubble that I'm performing for you all in, I will be using incognito mode when searching him up. It seems to me that he doesn't have his own actual YouTube channel. There's a lot of channels called Andrew Tate with his profile picture, and I mean like hundreds or probably even thousands. Plenty seem to be children, which I guess is a good thing since it's always good to get your male children to be alpha males like Andrew Tate, who is a good role model who has never done anything wrong ever. So many of these damn channels and they're all fake, I think. Watch this before you die, stock PNG of money, Andrew Tate and thumbnail on Andrew Tate channel, 9 views 1 month ago, 4 subscribers. This kid must have a lot of friends. I scrolled down as far as I could when searching for channels and found this guy, who specializes in Andrew Tate AI content. Why, th that's two good things in one. What a good idea. Let's peek at Andrew Tate leaked photos in jail part 12 plus one. Where is the Kaysan? <laughs> Christ. This is good content. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you why people hate AI so much. This is hilarious. Even the bigger ones that I could find are not only not Andrew Tate, but are also inactive. Here's one with 15,400 subscribers called Andrew Tate Honesty, using the method we've seen earlier of using women for clicks. Maybe it's an alpha male thing to use women for money. Andrew Tate has no sympathy for beta males. Now, I wouldn't call him a beta, he seems like a nice guy. How Andrew Tate gets modern women every time. Man, this Andrew Tate guy must have a lot of women. This one in particular, sitting at 24,600 subscribers, Andrew Tate 8706 is quite the artist. Yo, it's freaking Friday. If you didn't figure out already, this channel's dead. I will no longer be posting at all. You can remove me from your subscriptions. I will be deleting this channel in two months. I've loved the time I had with everyone here, but unfortunately, everything must end. I want to thank at creative math for, for being here along the way. I love you all, and I wanted to say goodbye. I love you guys. Later, waving emoji. Who the hell is creative math? Can I even say meth or will it tank this video? I'm gonna censor it just to be safe. Let's look at some more of these channels. Surely one of them is the real him. Andrew Tate 396. Oh my God. Andrew Tate gets attacked by monkey. Good God, he's probably dead and not a single person has witnessed the death that was caught on film. I'm distraught. Maybe that's why I haven't seen much news on him lately. He passed away too soon. I should really watch the, oh, I have to. I have to sign in. Maybe inappropriate? Yeah, I bet so. A man is game ended in this video. Copy and paste this into my browser and... Yeah, they're not... They... <laughs> they're ninjas, bro. They're ninjas. They ain't playing games. I can tell there's more in there than I want to give and they're getting mad at me. I'm out of food, guys. I'm done. Well, I don't know what to say. There's a chance he still got destroyed by the monkeys. We don't know what happened after the video ended. Let me just... There we go.
The next channel I wanted to peek at actually got taken down between when I wrote it into the script and when I started editing, so I can't really prove it existed. It's that gosh darn liberal media at it again, censoring the top G Andrew Tate. All I know is that it had 300,000 subscribers, claimed to be official, and said it was, quote, currently running by his assistant. I can't really make a bunch of jokes without the channel or videos I talked about being present, so here's a screenshot of the jokes I made. The only remnant of the channel I have left is this screenshot I took from an India vlog to make him into a Wojak. There you go. Looking up the title of the video, which is present in the file name of the screenshot I took, nothing. Just other people who uploaded different vlogs of the same people going to the same place. Let's maybe just look at the videos that other people are uploading where they talk about him. He, he's in jail? Good grief, what did he do? He surely can't be that bad of a guy. Hell, this weirdo even went so far as to make his decision to marry his girlfriend based on her opinions on freeing Andrew Tate and his brother. Staged or not, it's so very cool and totally not corny. I cuties last night and it was it was pretty good. Imagine, see, imagine seeing the girl you love, like, get fucked. Get fucked. You love her? I think it's something everybody should do just to test. No! I know. You know what? <laughs> Judging by how the media silences people, I bet good old Andrew was speaking too many truths. Those two gosh darn trans women who made the Matrix movie are gonna pay for hunting down my role model to be. Let's look up what the biased media has to say about why he's in jail. He's an alpha male, so it's either fake allegations or he was being super base and red pilled and talking about how women are objects. Let's look here. A court in the capital of Romania decided to extend social media influencer Andrew Tate's incarceration on suspicion of organized crime and... Oh god! A few months ago, he targeted a teenage girl on Twitter for no reason and she ratioed him so hard he docks himself and got arrested for... Wait. He's balding?! I can't take advice from a man who doesn't understand that male pattern baldness is treatable with keeps. Not a sponsor, please sponsor me. I have really long hair, but I can make an ad work in some way. Please sponsor me. I gotta find an alpha male who is just like Tate, but isn't balding or in jail for sex trafficking because while belonging on a sex offender registry is clearly a good thing for alpha males to do, I have to avoid it so the liberal left doesn't cancel me because when you're committing an actual crime, receiving repercussions is cancellation and not just the law. Yo, that's not canceled. That's the law. Also, I couldn't really find a place to fit this in, but he has lung cancer now. You think for a guy who claims to be pro-life, he'd take better care of his own, but when you've smoked probably hundreds, if not thousands, of these cigars, you kind of set yourself up to die young. I mean, I smoke cigars, but I know what the fuck I'm doing. Give me a big fat cigar. I'm risking cancer to look like a mafia boss. Fine. God, is there no alpha male who's a really good person who follows the already long ago debunked idea that wolves create a hierarchy by fighting to the top to be the titular alpha male of the pack? I need someone who isn't as well known so I can try to get in early and learn some new techniques before the masses. Since we're on YouTube as it is, I might as well dig in and search for whatever I can find. Six different types of males? What? Gamma male? Delta male? <laughs> Jesus Christ, there must be one for each Greek letter. Are you an Omega Ruby male or an Alpha Sapphire male? I personally am the fan speculated and never released Delta Emerald male. Maybe while I'm here, I can make something to help you, the viewer, figure out what kind of male you are. Pause the video and find your alpha male type and comment it down below. Hey, there's Jordan Peterson. He owned the liberals by pointing out how hard it is for him to find child on Twitter. Those woke moralists have nothing on him. I never knew he was an alpha male though. I ought to give his advice a shot. What being an alpha male really means, hmm? All right, let's learn with a senior center patient what alpha males really are. I talked to Franz de Wall two weeks ago. He's the world's greatest living primatologist, perhaps. Um, and uh, de Waal's work is unbelievably important. God, he's boring. Ugh. Just gonna two times speed. And you know, we have in par popular parlance, we have an idea of the alpha chimp. Alpha chimp? <laughs> Good God! I know I can't emulate what happened when I was working on this video and heard that for the first time, but I was giggling when writing the script, thinking about it, and even now while I'm saying it. And that's something like, treat your neighbor like you would want to be treated. Treat your neighbor like you would want to be treated. This means that the harassment of the LGBT community that he campaigns for is all just him wanting to be treated like he's a lower level species. Very kinky, Jordan, but I see right through you. However, I can't follow the thoughts of a man who attacks trans people on Twitter to get his rocks off, so I need someone else. 
Since I started researching and writing for this video and my detransition, Tribe of Men here has uploaded 14 videos, and at the time of recording, he's up to 36. Again, all since I've started researching and writing. I imagine when this video goes up, it'll probably reach 50 or more. After watching a few of his new videos on 2 times speed, I can confirm that this is the lowest effort content you could possibly do. This is a reaction guy. He isn't really making content, it's just reacting to other people while objectifying women. <laughs> The only edits are in the intro where he shows a few random sentences and all the cuts he makes are where there's not really much being said. You'd think an alpha male would put a lot more effort into his 300,000 subscriber YouTube channel. You know, maybe something a little more high effort and not three boring ass videos a day. Let's look at his shorts. Maybe there we can see some easier to consume bite-sized alpha male content where he respects all people regardless of how different they are from him. I doubt this man would misconstrue someone else's his words into something else and act like he was right. I don't think respecting someone's identity makes that harmful. It's not just respecting someone's identity, it's forced. If you misgender somebody at work, you can get fired. If you misgender somebody at school, you can get expelled. Yeah, asking for respect is forcing your gender identity on people. When you get reprimanded for being rude to others, it's not the repercussions of your own actions when you actively disrespect someone with your own reasoning being that you don't want to be forced into respecting them. If you want to identify as an attack helicopter, you're more than welcome to nobody cares. Oh wow, attack helicopter? Oh my god, he's actually so unbelievably funny. Wow, society is super unbalanced and tipped in the favor of women. It's a f gynocracy now. Bro pulled the th growth. Bro pulled the th bro pulled the thesaurus out. Bro pulled the th 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 bro pulled the th 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 oh my god, this is so hard to read. Bro pulled the fancy dictionary that I can't pronounce out for the word genocracy. It's like he thinks that the biggest group of people that receive so much privilege is going to go extinct all because some oppressed groups want some respect. Okay, let's try another. I'm beginning to get really desperate for a real man that I can follow the first up so I too can become a real man. Uh uh, wheat waffles, hype pill, blue pill, the reason women cheat. He is better looking than you. Well, for fuck's sake, if a girl leaves you for someone else based on looks alone, not only could that mean that you chose a shallow partner who focuses on the appearance of someone more than anything else, but it also could mean that your personality may have just been so bad that there was no point in staying in a relationship with someone who would think that she left you for another guy solely because of his appearance in comparison to yours. Please let Nero Angelo be the saving grace. Black pill, black pill, black pill. What the hell is a black pill? The black pill is about realizing nothing matters and there is nothing you can do to change anything. It deprives you of all positive thought and makes you want to get some sort of meaning out of this limited time we have. Just call yourself a nihilist like the rest of us! Please, I'm begging you, Kenneth O's. Please just be a normal human with good morals who will teach me how to be a man so I can begin this detransition. How to make sperm thicker and stronger. This isn't an alpha male, this is just sex! No, no, no! This can't be! I just wanted to detransition and become a real man! But these aren't real men! These are misogynists who would trade the current America for one where cishet white men were in charge and all minorities were oppressed much more than they are now. I just wanted to be an alpha male, not a bigot! I, I can't take this anymore! Channel artist, erase my tits now! Much better. The son of a bitch! No, you know what? Give me some titties. Oh, hell yeah.